let's make an easy chunky loop hand knit blanket for beginners. You're gonna take this loop it yarn. I promise this makes it so easy. This yarn already has the loops built in as you see here. And we're gonna start on one end and just cut that loop apart. So right where it meets, we're gonna cut that little tiny seam on two loops at the very beginning of our yarn strand. And that's gonna give us our end. Now I'm gonna face all of my loops forward and then start counting. So you're going to want to count out however many lengths that you want your, the size of your blanket to be. And then mark it like I did here with a bobby pin. So I counted out 70 lengths. This is gonna give me about a 50 by 60 blanket, which is a really good size. And of course, you can make it as small or as large as you want just based on how many loops you start with. Now at the end with the um, bobby pin, I'm going to circle back around my yarn and face it towards the loops in front of it. So you can see me do it here. I'm going to just kind of face it all towards the yarn below it. Super easy, guys. Okay, now you're gonna take the top loop and loop it through the bottom loop, pulling it straight. Top loop through the bottom loop, top loop through the bottom loop. Just repeat this little hand stitch process from the entire row of loops. It's super easy. I like to do this on a flat surface so that it can stay straight and you can kind of straighten it out as you go, as you see me here. But you're just gonna simply take that top loop, thread it through the bottom loop and repeat over and over through the entire row of loops as you see me doing here. Now when you get to the end of the row, you're going to repeat that little snipping process that you did at the beginning and you're going to snip one or two loop hoops, whatever amount you feel like you need as the end of your yarn. And then you're going to use that to attach the next strand of yarn to this strand of yarn. So I found where the old piece of yarn is and the new one and tying it in just a simple knot here that will be facing the back of your blanket and will never show. Then I'm going to get my hoops all pointing north again and do the same looping through the bottom one, the top through the bottom, just as we were doing with the first strand of hoops. Now, this process is so easy. Just don't get distracted and accidentally hoop the, the bottom through the top or something like that because that happened to me a couple of times, but it's super easy to fix and go back and undo. This project is completely foolproof. That is why I absolutely love it. You can make these watching a show, watching something on Netflix, uh, get a group of girls together and make these. It's just so much fun. You're just gonna repeat this process on all of your strands until you have the length of blanket that you want. When you get to the end of your blanket, you're going to want to do what they call bind it or cast it off. Uh, it's basically ending the blanket. You're going to take the, the hoop and go from the top through the bottom again and circle it back around the edging. So you'll have these leftover little hoops and you're going to do one hoop through the hoop before it. So you're gonna be moving from the right to left. I'm gonna show you again. You're going to take the corner hoop and, or loop, sorry, and loop it through the one next to it, just like that. And once you have it pulled out at the top, you're gonna to take the one next to it, just to the left of it, and pull it through the one on the right. Left of it, through the one on the right. Left of it, to the one on the right. And that's gonna create this pretty little edge that looks like kind of a chain link. So you're gonna repeat that on all of the edges with the leftover loops that are pointing out just to kind of give it this really pretty clean finish on all of the edges.
If you get to the end corner and you are left with two loops, you can simply tuck them together and snip the end of the one that remains and tie it in a knot. Snip it right there and then you can tuck it under just like that or you can cut it in two and tie it in a knot. There's a lot of tucking of the extra loops to hide them, but it all works. Again, on this one, I snipped the end instead, tucked it under, just like that. Again, you just kind of have fun and make it work. That's what's fun about this is it's super easy. You cannot mess it up. Now, on the back of your blanket, when you are finished, you will have these leftover strings from where you combined the two strands of yarn. So the skeins, when you ran out, you made a long strand, and when you um, added the new one, is another long strand. So you can trim these and then tuck them in, weave them in again on the back, and no one will ever see them at all. You're just gonna wanna double check the back for any poking hoops or strands that are left and then there is your blanket. I love how the pattern is. I love the way that it turned out. It looks super pretty either here on the arm of my couch uh, to grab for the next Netflix show or I also arranged it on my ottoman. So you can really put these anywhere you want but I think it turned out beautifully. If you like this kind of DIY please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell for more.